right here. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Agasha from the 256. Your East African girl here to bring you positive vibes. Now, as you can tell with the title, we're going to be doing a review slash a little like how to use a smart drive or aka the assistive device that I have on my wheelchair and yeah so I'm gonna be getting my friend to help me video because we're gonna be going outside so I'm just gonna grab her and I'm gonna catch you on the flip side so uh, yes uh, stay tuned thank you for watching if you're new to this channel welcome welcome I encourage you to comment like and subscribe and to tell a friend to tell a friend even if you need to pause so I'll see you later This is a smart drive for those that don't know how it looks like. Um, basically, it just it looks like this. So this is like the turning on. This is like the turning on switch, and um, once you turn it on, the lights come up, and four lights means it's fully charged. And then this is the charging port. So when you get it, there's something that actually covers it, but. I lost mine, but it still works fine, but yeah. So I've had this for two years in September, so that's why it kind of looks um, like the paint is kind of coming off, but it still works perfectly fine. And um, I'm not really sure how much it weighs, but it weighs a little bit because it's like a motor. So um, basically how I put it on is um, it's a lot easier for me to put it on when I'm seated in the chair as opposed to when I'm like outside of it. So how I do it is I basically like get it on one side and I stabilize on this hand and then um, there's a flap at the back and then I kind of just lift it up and I place it in like that. So we're gonna do that again so that you guys can actually see how I do it. Um, okay, can we come out? Okay. So normally I start off with it in in my right hand because that's my dominant hand and then I kind of flip it I kind of twist it to the back while um, supporting myself with my left hand and then I lift up this flap because we want to actually let it go in and um, we actually um, got this little um, what would you call it plastic thing added in so that it, um, the smart drive can sit on it um, and then it just then I just kind of feel through with my hand where it sits and then voila, it's on all right so yeah so it kind of just flops on and um, depending on what wheelchair you have I'm sure it can be added to whatever type of wheelchair you have I mean as long as it doesn't already have a motor on it so it was pretty simple to add they just added that little um, I don't know I call it a knob I don't know what else you'd call it basically like a plastic thing that the that it sits on that it hooks onto and after you do that you're pretty much good to go so I'm gonna actually show you how it looks um, so the smart drive does also come with a watch um, I scraped my watch on longer wall so that's why it's kind of looking like this but yeah so it comes with a watch and um, this but basically comes the button that turns it on and then this other button that um, so this button turns it on turns it off and on and then this other button just basically goes to other settings I can link a video down below for like more in-depth um, uses of this but yeah that's basically how it works and it's basically Bluetooth um, it, it functions with like a Bluetooth type of thing so and then we make sure that it's turned on and it comes up it basically just says smart drive on and then you turn the switch on as we did take your brakes off because you actually want it to move and then it's basically motion um, activated so you basically just hit it twice and then we're good to go and yeah now so I just basically tap it twice along any surface and um, and then we tap it two times to stop. So two times to start, two times to stop. And um, another thing to know about this is that um, when you start when you start it, um, it's gonna keep picking up speed as you go. Um, so if you don't want it to go as fast um, from the moment that you that you start it, 
from the moment you start it, when you hit it next, is it's the speed that it maintains. So if you um, want it to go faster, then you hit, then you tap it on your wheelchair a lot later than you would if you wanted to go slower. So um, yeah. So overall, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, one of the things that I would um, pay attention to is um, it does, because it is motion like um, activated, if you are in like a bump or like you have it on and like you're doing something, it will start regardless of if you actually meant for it to start or not. So I would, um, to be on the safe side, I will just turn it off. There have been a few moments where I've like forgotten it was on and I like ran into someone or run into something. Thankfully, I've not run into traffic, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so if you're also going on very uneven ground um, and it is on, it will like detect it as wanting you to start and it will start or stop. For me, I find that most times it stops more than it does start accidentally, so that's good on my part. Um, but yeah, so I will link down the description below for us for um, more in-depth like explanations of smart drives or where you can even get one. Perfect. So when it comes to battery life, I find that if I'm using my motor, the smart drive from like about morning to like evening, so pretty much majority of the day, I'll find that. I'll be left with probably like two, I'll be like halfway done or probably be left with just like one light. Um, so it would probably be able to last me like the whole day and then maybe a bit of the next day, but that would be cutting it close. And in terms of like the watch, um, I, tend, I tend to find that I charge it probably um, once every two days and um and that also depends how often i use it i don't use it as often as when i was in university because um the hills aren't that bad and i'm actually trying to learn to like not depend on it as much as i used to but yeah it's battery life is pretty decent um for what it does so yeah um all right so lastly this is the charger that it comes with it's like pretty bulky actually um but it it we make it work um so basically what i do is i normally just you know fit it in the back of my chair but yeah it's not that small but compared to what you're charging i guess it does make sense and this does come out you can um dismantle it to make it smaller but yeah anyways i hope this was helpful i know when i was getting um I know when I was getting my smart drive, it was, um, I really just enjoyed and appreciated all the videos that I saw and reviews I saw on it. And um, yeah, and I do get this question asked a lot in more in person because when people see me, they're like, oh my gosh, what's that? And now I can be like, hey, check out my YouTube. I did a whole explanation. But yes, it's definitely been so helpful, so um, beneficial to me. These days I don't use it. I'm trying not to use it as often because I'm trying to, you know, Build these guns but uh, yes for what it's worth especially for my university on a freaking hill it is definitely so helpful but um thank you so much for watching share this with anybody who you think would find this beneficial and yeah and i will see you in the next videos my people <laughs> bye so it's your girl, 256 East African girl. Okay, someone clearly doesn't watch enough of my videos. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, I got you from 256.